In this lesson, we are going to take a look at a non-price discriminating monopoly. And the first thing that you notice is that the demand curve and the marginal revenue curve are separate. Our marginal revenue curve lies beneath the demand curve. In this monopoly, the firm would like to charge as high of a price as possible to earn the highest amount of marginal revenue that they can. This firm is not willing to lower its prices. Well, let's take a look to see uh, where the firm is going to produce and where to locate profits. Well, we need to bring in two curves. We need to bring in the marginal cost curve and the average total cost curve. To find the profit maximizing quantity where the firm is going to produce, we need to locate the intersection between marginal revenue and marginal cost, which is located right here. We bring this all the way down and this is the quantity for the monopoly. Now what about the price? The price is going to be located in the firm's demand curve. We find where marginal revenue equals marginal cost, this intersection here, and we bring this up to where it touches the demand curve, and we bring this point all the way over to price, and this represents the price for the monopoly. Now, because this is a monopoly, and monopolies are the price setters, they have opportunities to make profit. Well, where is profit going to be located? The price is going to be set above average total cost. So we locate our price, which is uh, where it's touching the demand curve all the way down to where it touches average total cost and we bring this all the way over this entire area represents profit now when a non-price discriminating monopoly is in the market they are going to choose to keep their costs low as you can see, this is the profit maximizing quantity, and their price is high to maximize profits. We're going to take a look at a perfect price discriminating monopoly. And the first thing that you will notice is that our demand curve equals marginal revenue. This firm is willing to charge multiple prices in order to earn more revenue. And they're converting consumer surplus into profit. Well, the first thing we need to find is profit maximizing quantity. So we need to label marginal cost and we need to also draw our average total cost curve so we can see this new profit. We find the intersection of where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. This represents our profit maximizing quantity. And when we have a firm that is willing to lower their prices, it represents the law of demand charging different prices according to various quantities. Now when we have a firm that's producing more quantity as a perfect price discriminating firm does, 
they're producing at what we call a socially optimal level where demand equals marginal cost this is also referred to as allocative efficiency the firm is going to convert consumer surplus into profit so we find the intersection of where marginal revenue equals marginal cost we bring this down to where it touches average total cost and this entire area from here on up represents profits this firm was willing to lower prices converting consumer surplus into additional revenue and profit for the firm but what about price well price is nowhere and everywhere it isn't set in one spot so a perfectly price discriminating monopoly will have higher profits because they're willing to lower their price.